This is question eight. Here I'm given a diagram of a triangle and I'm given the angles measured in degrees, uh, but I'm given them as algebraic expressions. And what I'm asked to do is I'm asked to show that the triangle is an isosceles. So before we begin on this, the first thing to note about an isosceles is that an isosceles triangle has two lengths which are equal. So two lengths which are equal. The other defining feature of an isosceles triangle is that they have two angles that are equal. So two angles that are equal. Now, if I think about the question here, what I'm going to need to show is that either to, sh to show that the triangle is isosceles, I'm either going to have to figure out that two lengths are equal or that two angles are equal. Now, seeing as I'm given the angles as algebraic expressions, it's going to be easier for me to work out um, and to say that two angles are equal. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to have to try and figure out what these angles are equal to. All I have at the moment is them as algebraic expressions. So what I need to think about is the properties of the angles in a triangle. What I can say is that if I were to add these angles together, that they would equal 180. So what I can do here is I can set up an equation. I can say that 5x plus 2 plus 4x plus 8 plus 6x minus 10. Now if I add all of the angles together like I have there, just adding those angles together, I know that that will be equal to 180 degrees. So what I now have is an equation. I have an equation that I can solve. If I find out what the value of x is, I can then work out what the size of these angles are and I can see whether I've got two angles which are the same, uh, same in size. So let's start solving this equation. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. I've got 5x plus 4x plus 6x. So I can simplify this and I can say that that will give me 15x. Then collecting the numbers together, I've got 2 plus 8 minus 10. Um, and so 2 plus 8 will give me 10 minus 10. They're going to cancel each other out. So all that I'm left with is 15x will be equal to 180 degrees. Then I can figure out what x is going to be equal to. So to work out what x will be equal to, I'm going to take 180 degrees and divide that by 15. And 180 divided by 15, that's going to give me an answer of 12. So I've worked out that x will be equal to 12. Then what I can do is just substitute 12 in to each of these expressions. So 4x plus 12, if x, uh, sorry, 4x plus 8, if x equals 12, that's going to give me 56 degrees for that angle at the top. 5x plus 2, that's going to give me 62 degrees for that angle at the bottom. 5 times 12 plus 2. And then this here, 6 times 12 is 72, minus 10, that gives me 62 degrees. So what I can then say is that um, because I've found that these two angles are the same, that this must be an isosceles triangle. So this is an isosceles triangle because 5x plus 2 is equal to 6x minus 10. Those two angles are the same.